Hulk thing and look it's a stamp station but you do not have the stamp book yet so do nothing with that but just remember where it is so later on if you're the collector that likes to go around and get every bonus thing before the game ends that is where you do that is what you do collect all stamps from every single place that you visit in the game um arms in the way okay so continue down here to the beginning where there was a locked door open that with the key that you got go in there and yeah oh look another song of awakening Oh, they played the song of awakening. Oh, it told me something new. All right. You, you look like you want to find a treasure. Oh, okay. okay. So you go here, smash the pots with hearts, just because in this room is a little mini battle thing it's a mini little battle thing okay. so go like that but do not attack these things with your sword because they will kill you just blow blow you have to blow away their smoke then you can kill them so take those two skeleton heads skulls out floating skeleton heads out and you can go upstairs so that is where you should go upstairs so you're back upstairs floor two and then there's grass growing on the floor which is kind of disgusting Whoops. go upstairs again since that's pretty much the only place where you can go so you're up at floor three and this is where the entire game is gonna end, floor three. Well, there's floor four, that's just where the final boss is. So, yeah, I don't need to be technical. So, you're here, and you go up, and there's nothing there. So, you see this little thing that I just kinda destroyed? You wanna take the whirlwind, put it up to that, blow it across the gap, and hit the crystal ball thing. And look, there's a treasure chest. Go open that thing up. Small key open small doors. Yes, of course. Um, is there like a big key that opens up big doors or something? No. Sorry, just talking. Okay, so you go over here and look. It's a small key. It's a small door key thing. It's a small door with a key. So you use the key on the small door and it is another little mini arena thing. Yay, arenas. And it's this little weird bird creature looking guy. And he blasts fireballs at you. But do not touch the fireballs. They will kill you. You have to have your whirlwind. And blow the blow the skulls. Oh, I thought they were fireballs. Blow the skulls back to him. He teleports. Does it again. If it does in fact hit you, he'll charge you. Or he'll blow the wind back at you if you do a misfire. He'll blow the wind back at you and then he'll charge you. So there's that. Two hits kills him. Pretty weak guy, if you ask me. So You kill him and go upstairs again. Live upstairs going. He drops 20 rubies. Pretty nice, I guess. So you go upstairs. And floor three. Okay. So you have to open up this door. In order to do that, you must go here and there. Because that is what you must do. So let's go to Oh look, it's the big door. Okay. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Okay, so you go over there and you can't open that door. So, go over here, and you can't open this one. These are little worms that turn to bombs. 
I don't know how it happens. I know nothing in biology that allows that to happen because it's like the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And this is like a maze over a gap. It's covered in purple smoke, so clear out the purple smoke. Oh, look, it's a switch. There's a treasure or something that it activates. Sorry, my arm's getting tired. Um, so you go get that. Oh, look, it's a treasure chest. Eh, ain't that convenient? Okay, so. Blow the smoke away. So you blow the smoke away and open the chest. Oh, it's a pirate necklace. Okay. So that's a treasure that you can sell in, later on in the game. So open that and go over there.